everyone, it's Mona here at Craft Clutch. It's Monday, so that means it's Make Something Monday. And today we are gonna decorate a frame. This is an easy craft. It's perfect to get the kids involved in this. And we are gonna use some acrylic paints and we're gonna use a toilet paper roll. The first thing you need to decide is what color you want it. This is great to decorate your room. Um, it's also great for like a Mother's Day craft this is that would be good for that too and it comes with this particular one comes with a couple of wood pegs and you it's got two holes in the back so you can either have it standing there like this or it can stand there like this so either way it doesn't make any difference um, we're gonna go real easy with this one and you need to decide what color you want it if you want it to match your room if it's a gift um, either to match somebody's um, decor in their room or maybe like if you're doing it for Mother's Day you could do like your mom's favorite colors or something like that. I've decided to use this blue and this yellow, a pale yellow and the blue is called Caribbean which is always nice and I'm going to do the background in the Caribbean color so I'm going to put some on here it's just regular acrylic paint and I'm going to paint the frame and I'm going to do two coats. frame is all dry and now what I'm going to do is use my toilet paper roll and my yellow paint. Now I'm just going to take my yellow paint, put it down in there, just spread it around a little bit. Then I'm going to take my toilet paper roll and I'm going to dip it in and I'll kind of make sure I have it all around. I'm going to do a little test print and it worked out pretty good. And I'll do that again. And all I'm going to do is start to print right on the frame. This is perfect for little kids, um, grown-ups, doesn't make any difference. It's a really fun technique. Hard to mess it up and then you let this dry. You can always use something else to make other little dots inside it. I like it just like this and in the meantime while this is drying you can either print out a picture of if you're doing it for Mother's Day you can do you know a picture of yourself with your mom or you know if you're doing it for your bedroom you could have you know a picture of your friends in there or let's say it is for a little kid doing it for his mom or her mom. You can have them draw a picture of their mom or a picture of them with their mother and put it in the frame and that would be fun too. Here is the frame and it's decorated and now I, put, I just put the pin in the back so it could stand tall. And I just drew a quick picture, but obviously it would be whatever kind of picture um, you would want to put in there. It could be a photograph, it could be a drawing, you know, a kid's drawing or anything you want. Now when I was drawing this and I had the crayons out, it kind of reminded me of a funny little story of when we were kids. Um, and my sister, my brother, and I, we loved coloring and coloring books. And we would color outside the lines, which when my grandmother would come to visit, she... I think it kind of drove her nuts, but she would let us do it. But at night, when we were in bed, she would go back and try to refine all of our coloring books, and she would color over um, all the pictures and, and try to make it darker so it looked like we actually did color inside the lines. And I think she was trying to, to just be nice and do us a little bit of a favor, but it was kind of funny, and we kind of look back and laugh at that now. So if you have a funny coloring story or any kind of a story, I'd love to hear it. Leave it in the comments below, and we will see you next time. Happy crafting!